guys welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Serene and today is a tester Tuesday first impression on the new nude sticks magnetic matte lip color huge fan of nude sticks super excited about this product I have all of the shades swatched over here on my arm I will insert a close-up and then list all of the shades in the description box like left to right and then second row here. So all of my Tester Tuesdays, I show you applying the product and then check-ins throughout the day using my Ultra HD Unforgiving vlog camera to let you guys know how the product is wearing throughout the day. This is supposed to be a super long-lasting matte lip color. I want to see if this is really a lip tattoo, which is their hashtag for this product, then just keep on watching. But before we get started, don't forget to make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you know whenever I have a new video, which is five times a week every Sunday through Thursday. Now, about that little subscribe situation, I know there's been a huge mass of like, I subscribed, but then I go and check and I'm unsubscribed. We think it could be the fact that different platforms like via iPhone, iPad, whatever you use to watch YouTube plus your computer is not syncing all together. So if you normally watch on your iPhone and you see that suddenly you're unsubscribed, that might not actually be the case. So log into to your computer, check your YouTube account, make sure you're subscribed to all of your favorite channels, and then kind of don't worry about it on your iPad and your iPhone. Sounds kind of complicated, but I think that's what's going on based off of watching video creators and a couple experts talking about what is going on with YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and let's get started with the Tester Tuesday first impression review of the new Nude Sticks Magnetic matte lip color. Guys, I am super excited to test out the new Nude Sticks mag ah! Magnetic Matte Lip Color. I love Allie and Taylor and Jenny who created Nude Sticks and these are supposed to last like all day, super comfortable on the lips. I'm going to pick a color, put it on my lips, go meet my friend for coffee and eat and do all those things and check in with you throughout the day to see how these lips are wearing. And I'm gonna also swatch all of them on my arm and go about my day and see if they smear because they're supposed to be super long lasting and those girls know what they're doing when they're making practical products. I'm gonna wipe off my lips because I did prep my lips by ultra slapping on some lip balm. If you're doing a matte lip, I recommend doing that while you do the rest of your makeup. Kind of take everything off. I feel like I wanna do rose, but I feel like I should do something bolder where you guys can actually see it. I'm gonna do burgundy, and this is perfect because it is a lip liner and lip color in one. You also have one of these little sharpeners that you can use as a cap to sharpen it up. My favorite part about these, oh no, mine's missing. There used to be a little top and you can go and pick that thing off. I have a bunch of those though. Look at that pigmentation, that's insane. Oh my God. Immediately, pigmentation was insane and it went on so smooth. Like that was the easiest application of a matte lip color I've ever done because it didn't tug on my lip and it wasn't like weird. But I'm gonna let it set. It's a little sticky. Honey's texting me, letting it set while I check my text messages. I feel like it's set. It's, it, it gets less sticky as it's setting. There's still a little stickiness on the edge, but let's try this. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's insane. What the? Whoa. Like that, I'm doing this real time. I'm not gonna cut or speed any of this up so you guys can see how quickly that set. I am now going to swatch all of these on my arm and I will be right back so you guys can see the swatches on my arm and then I'll let you guys like I'll rub and do all those things throughout the day plus I get warm and sweat so be right back. Okay I just drew a bunch of little heart swatches on my arm. We'll let this dry a little bit and see how it lasts because I do plan on wearing a long sleeve shirt so is it gonna be a mess? I learned something. I'm not really good at drawing hearts on myself, so <laughs> that sucks. It's 1 p.m. right now. I will check in in a few hours. And right now I am using studio lighting because I don't have any natural light in this room. It's like awkward. I'll show you guys outside though what it looks like. We're gonna do a kiss test because I'm leaving the house. 
It's not on your lips. It didn't move off of yours. It didn't move off of mine. Show your lips. <laughs> okay, bye honey. Bye. bye. 3.30 and I'm doing a check-in on my lips. I just had coffee and water and I think it looks pretty good. It's a little bit dry, but not horrible. Still looking good. Um, and then my arm swatches, which all right, here are still looking good. I've wiped it a couple times and also I have been wearing my sleeves down. So you guys can see. Hey guys, I am back. It is almost 5 o'clock. It's 4.56. I've had this on since 1 p.m. So this is my lips after drinking two bottles of water and a iced vanilla latte. You can see that it's starting to do this weird thing right here, but my lips feel kind of dry. It's not sticky though. I've kissed Tubbs when I got home and he was like, ooh, that's nice. And he normally does not like me with lipstick. Uh, he likes the way I look, not the way to kiss. Mm, so you can see I'm missing a little spot right here. I am going to touch that up and put a little bit of lip balm on just because I'm going to film and I don't like the way my lips feel. But it doesn't, does it look dry? No. I just feel, it's not sticky whatsoever and I keep touching it and look. But it just feels like a little bit like crusty right here. Yeah, right there. I put a little bit of this Tatcha lip balm on. Normally I do this with all liquid lipsticks at some point because liquid lipsticks make my lips like it just shrivels them up. Where are you going? I'm taking this stuff off. Oh no, I probably shouldn't have done that. So I'm just essentially trying to get rid of the stuff that's making it a little bit crusty. You can see that like just by adding the balm, it looks a lot better, I feel like. Yeah, it's not as crusty. I also did white, huh, I, ah, because I'm using my nails. <laughs> but that's what it looks like if I just left it with balm. It's a little less um, intense of a color but it actually looks really good. Like I don't really have to touch this up. You know what, I'm gonna not touch it up and see how it looks with just the bomb and I'll check in in like an hour after I film. It is almost eight o'clock, 7.41 and we're out to dinner. We're grabbing some Korean barbecue. So I'm showing you guys my lips before we eat. It's a little sticky and crusty, but not bad. And then look at my arm swatches. It hasn't moved. And I've been wearing my long sleeves over and I had a jacket over. And I keep like pulling it on and off. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, it is 9-11. I've had this lipstick on for 8 hours and 11 minutes. I just had Korean barbecue. A lot of it. I wiped my mouth. I had some soup. I had a Coke. We stink. We smell. <laughs> and this lipstick's still on. Like, obviously, it's worn off right here. Mm, right around here. But, I mean, for a long-lasting matte lipstick, it's pretty matte. It's pretty long-lasting. And I've been wearing my sleeves like this, so look. I'm, like, rubbing a lot. Hasn't moved. This obviously is worn off, but this is like where I lick and where, you know, I'm drinking stuff, I'm eating greasy food, and it's pretty impressive. There's a little bit of a stain right now because probably the grease left over on my lips, which is so nasty and disgusting, is letting it transfer a little bit on the edge. And I did apply a balm. So overall thoughts. First of all, if you're looking for a long-lasting matte lip color, this is definitely going to be long-lasting. It's definitely matte. Is it super, super comfortable? It is very comfortable when you're applying it. It's very pigmented, very creamy, and very easy to apply. You don't need a lip liner. You don't need to really like mess with it like a lot of liquid lipsticks. You kind of have to like make sure you're doing the right layers and making it even. This is a very smooth, even application and 
full of pigment very very velvety it does dry out my lips throughout the day and when i did one of my check-ins i showed you guys where i apply balm to be completely fair all long lasting liquid lipsticks dry out my lips to some extent you are not going to have a hydrating liquid lipstick the best you can hope for is something that isn't going to immediately dry it up and make it uncomfortable this is not uncomfortable for me halfway through the day after my second cup of coffee not drinking enough water and just relatively being somewhat of a dehydrated person my lips are always going to be a little bit dry i always do reapply lip balm halfway through my day so it's not because of the lip color necessarily it's because of my own personal lip situation and whether or not i was wearing a matte lip color or not i would be applying lip balm if you don't have any issues with needing to reapply lip balm throughout your day you probably wouldn't have to touch up and do lip balm like i did but i I'm dry. I'm a dry person. <laughs> I love the colors. I think the colors are very, very nude sticks esque, which is all nude with a couple bolder reds or berries. I'm wearing burgundy today and I love it. It's just bold enough, but not super, super bold where you're kind of like, oh, this is going to be weird. I like that it didn't get on my teeth at all. A lot of liquid lipsticks, a lot of matte lipsticks, a lot of lipsticks in general get all over my teeth. This did not do that which is great and i like that it's 24 dollars. all of nude sticks products are 24 dollars, and they come in a really cute little tin i definitely think this is like the closest thing to a lip tattoo <laughs> that i've ever tried the in comparison to the liquid lipstick some of my favorite liquid lipsticks i really don't feel like you can compare it because this is not a liquid formula therefore you get that really smooth like normal lip color also like because it is a pencil you don't have to worry about a lip liner so i think it's really cool highly recommend it i think if you guys are looking for a product like this you'll be very happy with it i think it does exactly what it says it's going to do fun packaging fun marketing and i'm gonna keep playing with it because i like it i'll probably wear some more neutral lip colors but i definitely wanted to do color so you guys could see how it wears. I had a more natural lip color like Rose, which is the next one I'm drawn to. I feel like you wouldn't even notice anything. Like you wouldn't notice it wearing off or doing anything. Those are my final thoughts. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section or you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter. As always, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me lately a lot. If anything, I hope my video helped you unwind and de-stress from your night or your day. I just hope that my video was able to help you take your mind off of whatever it was that you might have wanted to take your mind off of. Don't forget, I upload five new videos every week, every Sunday through Thursday, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Already. give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy tester tuesdays check out the tester tuesday playlist down in the description box all the products oh i think i have a discount code for like 15 percent off um in the description box you can check all that out i think the discount code is good for all of nude sticks products on nudesticks.com i'll have more information for you guys down there and i will list all of the shades in the order it's on my arm in the description box and don't forget to check out my vlog channel i just uploaded an unboxing video unboxing like a pr haul video and i have a blog serenewoo.com with a monthly newsletter that has exclusive content as well as giveaways over there every month so until tomorrow i'll see you guys right back here bye